All right, joining us in the studio now, Peter Sonnison with Walking Mountain Science Center. We're giving you details about the High Country Speaker Series. I got that right. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. I always have great stuff to inform everybody about. This is a, another fascinating topic tomorrow night. 5.30 at Walking Mountains. At 5.30 at Walking Mountain Science Center. It's free. Uh, free. Open to the public. You know, we'll, we'll have some snacks and drinks out beforehand. Um, and this is the celebration, our 15th anniversary of our High Country Speaker Series. So this is okay. one of our, um, you know, longstanding programs. And it's one of the ones that I think is really fun. It's fun for me to put together where we bring in speakers from all over the country with very interesting yet topical subjects. Um, and, you know, tomorrow we have um, a Colorado book award winning author coming in to talk about the history of the White River National Forest, um, conservation, public lands, you name it, um, she's going to touch on it tomorrow. So the details about this, this, is, this focuses on a lady from the 20s and the 30s um, who was a militant activist of sorts. You got it. So um, Rosalie Edge um, is a kind of a lesser known conservationist in the same vein as Rachel Carson, Aldo Leopold, John Muir. Um, but what she did, she was a suffragette in um, the early 1900s and she saw nature as everyone's civic duty to protect nature. And so she took it upon herself to look into kind of the established conservation organizations at the time, Audubon Society, look at their practices you know, and really give them, you know, a critical eye. And she saw some practices that she didn't think were necessarily in, right. in line with conservation as a whole. And she took action to um, promote, you know, kind of a more holistic sense of conservation. Was she, was she kind of cutting edge in terms of conservation and protection of our natural environment? Was she one of the first, would you say? I mean, I definitely think- That you, we know about? Absolutely, I mean, you can definitely make that argument. You know, back then, conservation organizations um, didn't have the accountability that they do now where some organizations would do leases for um, um, hunting or trapping, fur farming, that kind of stuff. And the Audubon Society, for example, they were uh, proponents of, you know, killing, mounting, and stuffing birds for examination. You know, that's a great way. It's a tool that we use as a science center to show folks um, you know, species that they might not get a look at, but the Audubon uh, Society was killing birds on a mass scale. Rosalie Edge saw that and said, you know, this is not in line with conservation as a whole. Right, correct. Let's take a step back and see how else we can bring the information and these birds to people without killing and without taking the lives. Right. And so the author, um, she goes under the name Diana Fer Fer Ferminsky. Minsky, yep. She'll be tomorrow night talking about Rosalie and kind of her background and what she's done and what we're doing to preserve her efforts moving forward in a sense. Absolutely, and uh, Diana is a fantastic public lands advocate, wilderness advocate, wrote the anthology on public lands in the United States, um, you know, everything from BLM, Fish and Wildlife no Service, kidding. everything, um, it's a great book. And she'll be touching on subjects in that, but really using Rosalie Edge as kind of a model for conservation-minded behavior, um, you know, whether it's that militant conservationists, um, Hawk Mountain Sanctuary, this is, that's actually a parcel of land Rosalie Edge bought um, that was home to a massive hawk kill um, in the early 19th century, or wow. in the early 20th century. So they were killing hawks up there. She said, not a good idea. Bought that land and it's now a sanctuary. And it's where Rachel Carson actually studied um, to write her famous book, Silence. Will Brain. it be a Q&A session, do you think, to follow? Absolutely. Or throughout the course of the evening? Program? Absolutely. So it's going to be a very, you know, um, our High Country Speaker Series, um, we tend to think of them as conversations necessarily more than lectures. Right. So there'll be a Q&A. Um, it's going to be an hour long, you know, 5.30. Hopefully we'll have everyone out of there by 7 o'clock. Um, with some Q&A at the end. All right, so 5.30 tomorrow night at Walking Mountains, right there on campus on the north side of I-70. Um, just go towards 7-Eleven, take your right after Centura Health, take an immediate right, head up the road, and it's right there. You got it, you'll find us. Thanks, Peter, good to see you. Appreciate it. And we're gonna take it to Rick outside next. He's gotta look at that weather forecast. Sunshine hanging around for a while, he's gonna let you know.